So today I'm talking about a P0056 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0056 code? Well, it's an HO2S heater control circuit bank two sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going in the engine. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in that do a few things to help it go into what is called a closed loop quicker. They also monitor the catalytic converter. Since when the catalytic converter starts to heat up too much, it's a sign that it's starting to fail. So they're looking for this. And the onboard computer seen a problem with one of these sensors. So it's going to have to be troubleshooted in a while. And V6 or V8 engines, they have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that is bank two. So if you find the number one cylinder, that would be bank one. And then the opposite of that is bank two. If you just have a four cylinder engine, you'll only have one bank, so it wouldn't matter. And then sensor two is going to be the second sensor going down on that side. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad sensor, could be in the wiring, like an open or short, and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the bank two sensor two oxygen sensor. And there can be some differences depending on the vehicle, the year, the engine type, things like this. So it's always a good idea to go get a diagram diagram for where all the sensors are located and how they're laid out. It just makes it easier. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with the 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see, bank two sensor two is right here and it'll be located after the catalytic converter. And sensor one is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor and it's going to be located before the catalytic converter. And sensor two is going to be called the downstream oxygen sensor and it's going to be located after the catalytic converter. And so once you locate the bank two sensor two oxygen sensor, the next thing to do is check out this wiring be sure that it all looks good that there's no issues going on or anything like that basically keep in mind anything bad with the wiring open short bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you just want to take a look at that be sure that looks good also keep in mind that these are on a fuse there'll be a fuse box inside the engine compartment and there'll be a fuse inside of there for these sometimes they can be labeled a little bit vague and sometimes they're easy to spot it really just varies on the vehicle type for example this is a 2012 toyota camry and the af sensors are on fuse number 33 which is located right here and if that blew it could cause an issue also keep in mind that many times there's also a relay so keep a lookout for that and so if you check that all out the wiring looks good no blowing fuses anything like that then very likely that sensor has just failed it just needs to be replaced you can't test the heater element side of it to see if it burnt out or not if you have a multimeter basically to do this you find the same two wires with the same color for example right here it'd be these two white ones and then you just measure for continuity with ohms to see if it burnt out because it's kind of like a light bulb if it burns out it's bad but usually if you get resistance then usually it means it's working you can get the spec sheet for the oxygen sensor to make sure it's at the right rated resistance but usually if you're getting resistance then it's working and if you're not then it's burnt out I made a video on how you go about testing these oxygen sensors. If you want to test them, I'll put a link down in the description below for how you can test them. But that would be the next thing to do would be either test it and be sure that it's bad or just go ahead and replace it. Because very likely if you checked everything else out, then that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced. One thing to keep in mind with these is that sometimes they require a special tool to get back in and get around that wire. Not all the time. Sometimes you can get to it without the special tool. It's really going to vary. Sometimes they're recessed into the exhaust where you have to have that special tool and then sometimes they're out in the open more where you can get on it with an open end wrench but basically go take a look at it and be sure that you got the right tools to remove it because sometimes you do need this special tool to get it back in i'll put a link down below to this special tool if you need to see what i'm talking about and so that's basically it i just wanted to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0056 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day